All right, I want to try a little cooking experiment. Uh, what I'm gonna do is make a mini chocolate peanut butter pie with just some stuff I've kind of got left over uh, around the house, and I'll make it up as I go along. I'll explain what I'm doing. Uh, your pie crust is going to be basic pie dough. Now this is the trimmings from the last pie I made, um, basically just cutting around the outside. Uh, I'd never made a pie before. It was blueberry. Grew my own blueberries. It came out awesome. But I use this to, I'm going to use this to make the, uh, the pie crust for this experimental chocolate peanut butter pie. Uh, this will roll out and I'm going to use this kind of about the size of a petri dish made out of aluminum. Uh, holds up the heat. It's clean. And that's going to be our pie, uh, pie pan. Uh, but to start out, we're going to need a filling. Now, because it's so small, we don't have to make a lot. Uh, I am going to do a peanut butter filling. It's kind of going to be in the middle of a peanut butter ball and peanut butter frosting. And with that, my thought is to use confectioner sugar peanut butter, and maybe a little milk. Uh, I do have a little nutmeg because that's a secret ingredient and a lot. Now the chocolate is this uh, Lintz Touch of Sea Salt Dark Chocolate. I actually picked this up today at Kroger. It was leftover Valentine's Day candy. 75% off. I paid like a quarter for that bar. Uh, bought, a, bought them out and well I'm going to use that to cook with because it's cheaper and better than chocolate chips. Now my idea for the ratios is I'm going to go with a quarter cup of peanut butter and a half a cup of uh, confectioner sugar to start with. I uh, should be able to blend it just with this in, in the nice glass bowl. Uh, I'm going to get some of that set up and I'm going to come back with part two in you know, just a few minutes. Alright, check it out. 